members of the Pride, and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. So, we Job are... Done, Commander. Thank you. Uh, just some repair work to do there. I was switching over a couple of minor things. It was just like some rearranging of stuff. Um, I've got the financial report. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, it's a good thing we're heading over to Smithon right now. Uh, we're heading to Smithon. Uh, we're going to see what we can do about maybe getting... Uh, thank you. Um, we're going to see what we can do about taking care of the defense we're of Smith... <sighs> yes, I know. Oh. Okay. Uh, in a daily briefing, Samaya brings up an open hall... Open hail from a nearby ship. They say... Contracted for a of periphery fought pox. Can't get the medical care. We could sell them. But it'll limit us. Spacers stick together. Local authorities might appreciate generosity. Um, yeah, you know what? We can, we can give them some medical supplies. All right. Um, we're only one ba bad bug away from the same situation. Let's do it. All right, so we have one less medical point, but right now we're, we're fine. We don't need any medical points for the next 14 days, uh, especially since travel to Smithon is 13 days. Uh, gain a reputation with Arano, and morale increased by one. I like that. <clears throat> and we get to play the good guys, which I always like to do. Good is its own reward. And so is reputation and morale. <laughs> All right, so oh, okay. I was gonna say, uh, are we gonna get that thing pop up? But maybe this is gonna happen first. Those upgrades you asked for are online, Commander. All right, so I'm pretty sure I don't have any any money for the rest of this. Let's let's just look. Four hundred and fifty. Uh, 450, 450, and 450. So, all these morale things, um, I mean, they'd be great, but we ain't got the money. Uh, okay, before we can do this, we have to do the mech bay, and before we can do mech bay, we need a bunch more money, which we don't currently have. So, you know what, I may, at some point, um do another major contract video for uh, for the for the thing for the for patreon uh, and just get a bunch of money so that we can maybe uh, get the the last few bits or maybe I guess I could sell some of my mechs Lord knows I have a ton of mechs that I could sell off Well, but I'm in space right now, so I can't really do that, can I? Alright, so let's just go. We're almost completely yeah. out of cash. Thank you, Darius, for the 28th time. Darius needs to, like, learn to chill. His commander has got things under control. And we are moving, we're moving, we're moving. <clears throat> and we're here. All right, uh, before we proceed with our current contract, let's look and see what we have here just cause. Uh, <laughs> spicy ogre. Orders. Musket. Awaiting orders. <laughs> I like his voice. Confirmed. Reporting. I like his voice. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Yes, Commander. <laughs> I like his voice. He's kind of he's kind of like like pocket protector nerdy geeky kind of guy. I love it. I love it. Yes, Commander. I will get on that immediately. Hold on, I just need to take some nasal spray. <laughs> I love it. I, you know what? And I would put him in my biggest, baddest mech. 
just to just because <laughs> oh gosh I'm so tempted to get him you know what I'm gonna get him for no other reason than I love his voice <laughs> oh my gosh I'm so easily amused all right what's the store got uh, I could get a partial dragon which I don't care about uh, oh. Accuracy and critical. It's not bad. Uh, but otherwise, nothing exciting. Alright. No biggie. We will go back and we will launch our contract. And let's see what we have in front of us. Alright. Uh, so... I kind of like this team. I do like this team. It's kind of a pity that I can't uh, that we can't bring the crab in. I mean, I could. I could replace out the crab with the Highlander or something, or the crab with one of the Orions. Honestly, though, uh, I kind of like this team. This is a good, solid team right here. Let's see what we can do with this team. Um, I, I like the mobility options I have with uh, with my Grasshopper. The Orion is just uh, a, a damage-dealing beast that never overheats, which is amazing. Uh, of course, that has to do with the double heat sinks, which technically I guess I could put those double heat sinks on anything, but... As it currently stands, I kind of like the loadout I have right now. If I can find, like, a, like an Atlas, maybe, I might strip out the high, uh, what's on the Highlander and put it on the Atlas or something. But right now, I kind of like the Highlander as is. Oh, holy cow. We're going straight into enemy contact? What the hell? The spaceport in front of you is packed wall to wall with civilians, most of them refugees from the uh, from the capital. The Taurians have been targeting them as enemy combatants. What jerks! I need help. To, I need your help to keep those people safe until we evac them to safety. We have three of the late Lord Corosus's dropships en route to assist with the evacuation. Uh, the captain of each vessel will call in on approach. Shepherd one will be heading for docking pa uh, pad Alpha. Oh, I guess that was docking pad Alpha. Shepard 2 will set dock uh, set to dock at pad Charlie. Shepard 3 heading for Pratt, pad Bravo. You'll need to keep the enemy's eyes on you and away from the docking pads. Above all, you'll need to keep them from firing on the docking pad's fuel reservoirs while the dropships are being loaded. <clears throat> okay. Any hostiles that you fail to engage will almost certainly target the fuel tanks. If they manage to take one out, the resulting explosion will wipe out nearly everything nearby. Dropships, refugees, you name it. You can see the fuel tank's estimated blast radius in red in front of... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a big area. Good luck, Commander. The Torians aren't going to make this easy. Wow, Protect and it's... Our ships. Help them get our people home safe. Holy cow, they're just rolling us straight into battle. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, what have we got? A Thunderbolt, a Panther, and I saw a Jenner, didn't I? Didn't I see a Jenner? Am I imagining things? Maybe I imagined it. Oh, no, right here. Jenner. I thought so. Wow, he just rolled straight into that. Uh, okay, let's back this up a little bit. So, those are the fuel storage things. Those are what we need to be protecting. Pad, pad, and there's the fuel thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a big area. All right, destroy all hostiles. Apparently, there are nine of them. Two loaded dropships must escape, and then the op op uh, alternate of all three dropships escape. We're going to try to go for all three, of course. Uh, okay, so... I thought so. I was going to say, I see kind of a... A natural pass right here so that's a possible problem obviously they're gonna come from this direction since they're already coming from that direction 
I don't see anything obvious over here. But we'll keep an eye open on that just in case. Okay, so... Standing by. Can I jump on top? I was say, I want to see if I can jump on top of these things, but I can't. Oh, I can jump on, jump on here, though. I can jump on the wall. Why is it not letting me jump on the wall? Oh, oh wait. Almost had it. Come on, I had it. Why? Why won't it let me? Oh, I hate that it does this sometimes. Wait, wait, wait. Right there. Okay. I'm going to jump Decker up here. Yes, it's in a dangerous location. But if all goes well, it won't matter. Anyway, I'm going to give him full sight of everything if I can. Including those guys back there who I really don't like at all. Um, in fact, we've got this great big thunderbolt back there, and it's my biggest target. We're just going to try and Here unload on you. Boom! As long as you keep attacking those hostiles, I won't be able to focus on the fuel tanks. Keep pressuring them. Will do. All right, Glitch, we're going to do the same thing with you. We're going to get I you ya. on top of a wall. Yes, I can. I was going to say, I want to get you on a wall. There. Oh, ah, come on. Stop. Do oh, I keep getting it. I keep almost getting it. Ooh, is that the best? Uh... Is there a better place I can put you? Yes, I can put you there. But that puts you awfully close into the f fight, too, which I'm not thrilled about. Well, we sh these two should be able to take care of this little thing. It'll do for now. No, possibly, and I think that's our, I, I think that's our golden boy. We need to keep uh, hammering that thunderbolt because we can knock it down. Uh, and we're going to precision, precision strike this. So as to give us all the, all the shots in the world, and we're just going to take it out. Yeah. Yeah. Knock down, put your butt on the ground. All right, Lion, uh, this is obviously your forte. You are all about killing these little guys here. So let's. Can we maybe jump forward? Yeah, that'll do. There's five. Uh, that's five pips. I like five pips. Ooh, and I oh, and I can get far, uh, far enough for my MGs, which is all about it. I am liking that. We are definitely going to precision strike you because that's all sorts of accuracy. We might be able to just take this bad boy out right now. All weapons committed. Say goodnight, Gracie. Oh, grasshoppers are built for taking on, uh, tra taking out light, uh, light medium mechs. What? Oh, I have vehicles. Oh, how many do I have? Oh, and he's helping. Nice. Oh, and there's another vehicle. Hey, how many do I have? Oh, let's see. Oh, okay, I've got these. Oh, oh, I saw a lot of blue up here. I wasn't paying attention. Look at all these blues! Holy cow! We've got a ton of guys on our side. All right, Order. Behemoth, uh, let's get you in a place where you can get some shots on somebody. Can 
and maybe jump you over and get a straight shot? No, it's uh, no matter what, it's LRM. Uh, that's okay though. Uh, I don't mind. I don't mind LRMs. We do need to watch our heat. So. Location confirmed. I forgot. We're in a a badlands or a desert lands or something like that. Something nasty. So. All right. Let's see if we can't. Locking on target. Knock down a thunderbolt. Nope, but we can get some damage on them. Oh! Oh, well, both of them missed. So I see some turrets here. That's cool. <gasps> Battle Master! Hello, beautiful! Shepard 1 is incoming. Full burn approach. Destination Alpha Pad. So it's going right here. We've got enemy flankers in cow. Okay, so we called that right. Engage them before they take out our dropships. All right, so I I called that. All fire on those dropships. Take them out, or you'll have Ostergaard to answer to. Well, don't you sound super special? I'm just going to calmly discuss this as if it were a rainy day. <laughs> All right, it's a light. It's a light, which means uh, that's that would be Lion's territory. Although I've got four mechs coming this way, including a Battlemaster. Battlemasters are no joke. They they're an assault mech. Those are those are. In fact, shoot! If I can if I can get one of those intact. I would, I would actually be a pretty happy camper if, if I could catch you. one of those intact. Uh, let's continue trying to take out this Thunderbolt. Firing all weapons. We need to remove targets from the field. Oh, pound on it, pound on it, yeah! Mech destroyed. You were here, but now you're gone. All right, uh, glitch. Let's see what you can do. I'm seeing 75s right there, and that's on the Battlemaster, which is definitely a primo target. Uh, precision strike. I kind of, I kind of want to. I kind of want to precision strike this because I want to, I want to take this thing for myself if I can. What are the chances I can take its head clean off? Almost nil. I'm gonna try it anyway. Firing everything I've got. Boom! Oh, beautiful! Almost took him straight to. Almost took him straight to the to the thing there. Uh, all right. Unfortunately, I have nothing here that is good for. I have nothing good for knocking down. I've got this flanker coming here, which I'm not happy about. What if we were to jump jet over to here? And kind of do this. That way, in the next turn, I can kind of position myself to deal with that. Not happy about the heat, but... Let's... Yeah, let's do this. Engaging jump jet. You know, maybe I should have held, uh, maybe I should have reserved and allowed everybody else to take shots at these guys first. And did I just hear enemy detected? I did. There are two light mechs coming this way. All 
All right. I think I want to precision strike this because the odds of hitting that was very, very low. We're gonna have to remove one of these lasers. If we can do this, we can get an ex ammo explosion on him. I'm tempted to just headshot him. Or I could do a leg shot. Actually, a leg shot wouldn't be such an awful idea. Tell you what, let's go for a torso. Let's see what happens. All right, those are our guys. Good. I, you know what? That's what I should be doing. I should be waiting for these guys to be shooting at these guys to remove the evasion pips. You know what? I think that might be the master plan. Oh, you beautiful thing, you. I mean, I don't like you getting that close at all, but... Oh, you beautiful, beautiful thing, you. All right, I need a, I need a direct shot. I do have a direct shot right there. If I'm not careful, I could kill myself, but we... Oh. Okay, tell you what. Oh, no, I can't say done. Urgh. Okay, I have to go. What's up, um, Okay, if I go here... I still have a shot, not a wonderful one. What if I jump jetted forward? Better, at least I'll get more shots on him. And I can get a panther shot at it. All right, or I mean a shot at the panther is what I meant to say. All right, multi-target, you and you. It's not beautiful, but it'll do. Get him. Copy that. All right, and we might be able to knock over the battle mech if the, uh, if the SRMs hit solidly enough. Yes! I would really, really like to be able to get that battle master. Cold shot, left torso, blow it off! No, not center torso. Nobody told you center torso. Left torso. I'm down with left torso. Okay, so... We got another one coming in. Oh, no, that's enemies right there. Oh, man. Advance. For honor, for liberty, and for the Torian conquered it. Oh, you just sound thrilled. Oh, man, this... This is not pretty. Um... Hello, Jenner. Oh, boy. He's probably gonna get a shot. Oh, he didn't. Oh, man, these guys are coming from every angle. All right. There's several of them. Okay. All right. If I reserve, who goes next? You go next. I don't mind that. Then we can have a whole bunch of turns all at once. You know what? We're going to reserve. Then we'll have a bunch of stuff all at once. And I don't want to reserve again because then the battle master will get up. Good to go. Wow, do I really not have a shot here? Oh, 
Oh gosh. Uh Oh boy. Um I think that's okay for now. I need to put some pressure on those cuz next turn they're going to shoot at that thing and so I need to I I need to put some pressure on that thing. It's not a wonderful shot. Now let's see how you handle this. But take it. Say it doesn't have to kill him. I just need to get his attention. Oh yes. I I would have preferred your tor the torso, but that's okay. I could stand right there. I could stand right there. That's the right torso. Okay. So, actually, the better. I could target his. I, I could target this torso with everything. That's 141. Oh, I can't target with everything. Um, in that case, probably the better move would be to get closer. <laughs> um. Yeah. Because if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it right. Guys, I this it, it's a thing. This has to happen. Oh, uh, overheat. Is it worth the overheat? I don't think it's worth the overheat. Okay, so 25, 50, 75, 100. That's 160 right there. If all of them hit, it would penetrate it and destroy it. Or I could headshot it. And machine guns are widely known for their ability to uncannily hit the head. It has to happen. It has to happen. It goes fast. No. Enemy neck destroyed. What can I do for you? I am sad. Sad I am. Would you like green eggs and ham? Let's see. Okay, so that's got all sorts of pips, and it's like appears to have been vigilanced. So I think we're going to. Kind of rotate her a little bit. What's my best shot? Looks like 60s, which is not beautiful, but could be worse. This should be good. Blew that torso off. Got the knockdown. Got the injury. Got the second injury. All right. Commander. Ask me how much I want to right now stomp on that thing. Ask me right now.
All right, I think we need to just stand where we are. We need to multi-target because we need to put some fire on you. And then... That's all 95s and 60s. I could wipe that thing out. That's all 80s and 75s and 95s. You... You know what? The Highlander will most likely be able to take care of that commando. Unless I want to go see. What if I did this? Ooh, that is not a bad idea. Do it. I copy. Put some fire on the uh, on that commander. A uh, commando. Come on, kill it. Yes. And then nice. Decent. I am absolutely okay with that. Are you going to finish him off? I wouldn't mind you finishing him off. Okay, he did. Oh, well, thank, thank you for participating. <laughs> that hit it like one missile. <laughs> All right, Shepard 2 has arrived. Okay, so shoot, we need to get... We definitely need to put some, some pressure over there now. This is Shepard 1, uh, payload secure, preparing for launch. Okay, so we have to make sure that that guy doesn't get involved. Ooh, we're about to get five enemy in a row. Oh, go for me, go for me. Don't hit the dropship. Oh, okay, that's I fine. I no pleasure in this, Lady Arano, but we're under order. You can end this by surrendering to Commodore Ostrogard. Until you do, your people will suffer for you. He sounds completely reasonable. It does, the voice acting on some of these is just not believable. Oh! You! Don't you do it! Don't you blow it up! Oh! Don't you do it! Don't you- okay. Okay, I'm fine with that. Oh, he's gonna fire on the... Oh, okay, good. Alright. Commander. Decker. We need to put some fire on this guy so that he's coming after... Oh, wait. Was it that guy? Or was it... Who was it? No, it was the spider. Yes, it was a spider. Okay, we need to put some... We need to put some pressure on that spider because he's going after us. Uh... Set her torso. Kill it. Just kill it. Acknowledged. Come on! Blow it up, 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 blow it up! You didn't blow it up. That's alright. Solid connection on that one. Glitch. On you, Commander. Who has not had a little love yet? You have not had a little love yet. And we're going to do a precision strike on you. Oh, wait. Oh, the Jenner? Yeah, the Jenner and... Oh, shoot. Uh... Waiting for orders. Oh, shoot. Neither the Jenner nor the Spider have had any love. Oh, I'm not happy about that. Uh, which means we need to get both of these. We need to get both of these guys at least touched. All right. Tell you what. We're going to go boom and boom. One apiece. Just to tag them and get the uh, and get their attention. 
Line them up and I'll shoot them down, Commander. Get him, Glitch. It don't matter, though you're barely doing any damage. The whole point is just to get their attention. Very good. Lion, you need to get... Well, we need to remove some targets here. And, oh, look at that. I see a beautiful target for me to run up and punch so that I can cool off and still wreck face. Go get him, Grasshopper! <laughs> and... <laughs> oh, head hit! Oh, sure, now you get the head. Critical damage detected. <laughs> All right. Not bad. Oh, and he fired at this, too. That's good. Oh, hey! Striker! Dude! Wasn't expecting that from an in uh, from an NPC. Oh, and the NPC NPC gets the kill. All right, Behemoth. Uh, who Standing can by. we who can we just roll up and wreck? If I get you over here, I can straight up just maul these two. Or, I could jump over to here. Of course, if they get one more shot on that thing, then that's goodbye, th uh, goodbye to that mech. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hope that all the fire that we have put on those two light mechs is enough to get their attention. Let's multi-target and go one, two. Get them. Multiple enemies locked in. I'm down with it. And, oh, solid center torso. It's beautiful. Thank you for participating. <laughs> Alright, this is good. Just keep their attention, guys. Oh, I even got the knockdown. Tell you what, these, uh, these uh, defenses have been doing quite good on getting the knockdowns. Shepard one away. Okay, so that's one. Okay, so Shepard 3 is incoming. Full burn approach. We st okay, so most likely we've got a hold full of civvies and we're preparing for launch. Okay, don't worry. I've got you covered. We're, 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 we're putting some hurt down on these guys. Okay, shot at the turret. I'm okay with de destroying turrets. You can shoot turrets all day long. I don't care. All right. More turret shooting. You can blow up the turrets all day long. It's okay. I'm happy with it. All right. How many? We've got four enemies left. We've got that guy, that guy, and then the other two. All four are lights. So this shouldn't be awful. It should actually be fairly straightforward. No. We'll go to here. Engaging jump jets. Alright. Whoever I decide to target is gonna get... Oh, well... Uh, well, yeah, I think that kind of has to happen right there. Uh, and, yeah, goodbye. Engaging target. Enemy mech destroyed. Enemy mech destroyed. Who's 
doing? Where are you going? What are you doing? I don't like what you're doing there. Good to go. Okay, so Glitch, you currently have no shot at anybody. You're going to need to rotate. The question is, do you want to point this direction or this direction? Decker has a solid shot on him. And Behemoth should be able to take out that dude right here. So let's just go ahead and face that direction. Let's precision strike to increase our accuracy because that's only a 50-50. Let's hope we get lucky. Commencing alpha strike. Yes. Gotcha. Gotcha. What's up, boss? All right, Decker. Uh, you, you, let's see. You've got a shot right now. Not much of one. Uh, we, we do not care if this thing lives or dies. Just wreck him. I copy. Done and done! Hot yes! Let's do it. Hostile remove. Alright, so only one left can possibly. Di uh, uh, well, as far as we know, it says destroy all hostiles 8 for 9, but let's let's face it, we still have. I mean, we took care of these guys awfully quick. There's gotta be more hostiles coming for this number 3. Ready for. Order. I mean, I mean, for sure. I mean. I, I, I can't even imagine a scenario where that would not be true. So I'm going to assume Roger that, that the, this, these first nine were intended for the first two dropships. And then from here, uh, yeah, yeah, we're just going to yeah, just, just kill it. Firing a full salvo. Oh! All right, so we took care of all... Okay, so that's away. So now, for sure, another Lance is going to appear to take that one out. Gotta be. Uh, okay, nothing. Okay, we're still moving. Okay, they're moving. All right. Uh, nothing is coming up. Let's play this safe. Can I jump on? I can't jump on the wall. So, you know what? I'm going to get some high ground. Kind of face this. Or maybe I should face this direction just in case they come from this way. Or, oh shoot, they're not going to come from behind, are they? Oh no, okay, that's just the edge of the map there. So if they're and that's a big empty crevice there. So if they're coming from that way, shenanigans. So, all right, so we're just going to, we're going to jump jet up here. We will up high. That'll give us a nice little bird's eye view and we'll brace. We're also going to do the same thing with you. We're going to get up high. Engaging jump jet. Embrace. Uh, and you know what? Orion and Decker, you're j j fine where you are. So we'll just brace, embrace. Sound smart. This is Shepard 3. We have the last of the refugees. Buy us another few minutes and we'll get out of here. Wait, seriously? No other... No other bad guys? Brace, brace, Copy brace, back. brace. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Okay, Shepard 3 away. What else? That took seven rounds.
That's the last of them. Good job, Commander. If it wasn't for your lands, all those refugees would have died here today. Your mercenary fought well, Lady Arano, but know that this is only just the beginning. Uh, none of us can return home until you've been captured or killed. And for every Tarian mech that you, can, you destroy, ten more will rise in its place. And we will defeat them, Commander, just as we defeated you. Mission <laughs> successful. Really? Well, I was actually a lot more worried about that than I guess I needed to be. <laughs> Okay. I'm not I'm okay with this. I I'm okay with this. And we got all of the yes. Beautiful contract payment increased by 50%. Got 2.1 mil. Nice. And no damage. Nothing. That was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. Sadly, no battle master. Oh, but I do have, that's right, I do have the one piece from the previous battle, so at least I'll get a second piece. That's nice. All right, special things. Anything special? Oh, these aren't bad. Ooh, the comm system is also not bad. Good for morale gain. And I can put I can put like comm systems on everything, because uh, they're they're zero they're zero weight. You know what? Yeah, these are you know these are these are zero weight. I can put these on. They're free morale gain, and morale is very very useful. And we're gonna get this medium laser maybe or do we want a piece oh you know what i can get one more piece of panther and sell it um no you know what i i want the laser maybe we'll get lucky with the piece of panther anyway uh we didn't we got two pieces of jenner but that's all right oh good and we got the other lasers oh very nice oh wow we got all the lasers so that's cool. Guess what? Guess what upgrades we're gonna be putting on my uh, on my uh, on my on my grasshopper? <laughs> Very nice. I'm I'm quite pleased with that that entire scenario. Um, it was fun. It was engaging and a little heartbreaking about the battlemaster, but. Oh man, if I had remembered that I already had one piece of Battlemaster, shoot, I would have legged it. I could have just legged it. Well, but I didn't know. I, I, that, that was so long ago. You've done it, Lion. You faced off against the Torian War Machine and forced it into retreat. And if they can be driven out of one system, they can be driven from another. Your actions today have restored hope to the Oregon people, Lion. Know that. Believe it. All right. Background, Solaris Gladiator. Once upon a time, I inspired people in the arena. It feels good to be that person again. Okay. Commander Marcus Solaris, Beacon of Hope. That's a nice ring, I've got to say. <laughs> they can have all the hope for the, uh, they want. Me, I'm in this for the money. No, I'm not. I mean, I am, but I'm not. Beacon of Hope. That's a nice ring to it, i got to say. I kind of like this one. Uh... I'm going to do this one. <laughs> Laugh all you like, Lion. To my people, this is serious. You're a hero in their eyes, and they can see you fighting on their behalf. That means something. And to those in Ostrogard's crosshairs, it means everything. I hope that you're ready to pay for more of our brand of heroism in the near future, Lady Arano. We didn't destroy the Taurians. We only inconvenienced them. They attacked Smithon to get to you. There's no stopping them from doing it again someplace else. And we'll be ready when they do. Me on the comms and you on the battlefield. Together, we will do whatever we must to defend the restoration. Now, now this is kind of weird because they're kind of saying that, hey, we succeeded and we... Now, because I had that minor little... You know, I managed to get a bunch of people out of the way. Now we, like, defended the system. 
I don't know, that feels strange. I guess if we win, she wins? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, uh, together to defend a restoration. Yes, we will, and this company will be with you to the end. Absolutely, but at the end of this road, Espinoza is mine. As long as you keep holding up your end, of your end, you can count on us. This is a little much, because um, I don't really see us as... I mean, we're mercs. We're mercenaries, and I mean, while I may have once kind of decided I was going to be loyal to her, and I am loyal. I'm not. I'm not definitely not going to backstab her. Um, but the at the end of the day, Lion is a gladiator. He was a Solaris gladiator, and he's a mercenary. So. I, this isn't a vengeance thing so much, because I mean, really, they didn't, they didn't, they, they really didn't set that up to make you really feel the pain of, of that one guy's loss. I mean, I can't even remember his name, Mastiff, Mastiff. Um, so they really didn't build that up enough to make you go, well, yes, I'm going to kill you. It just, it wasn't. I guess as long as you keep holding up your end, you can count on us. You'll be paid as promised, Lion. My word is my bond. Lady Arano, we'll, we're receiving an encoded hyperpulse trans, transmission. Must be a message from Lady Centrella. Hang on a sec, I'll put you on the screen. Kamea, I have news for you, both good and bad. We'll start with the good. My agents have established contact with a member of House Gallus, the ruling family of Itrum. They served Espinosa in the early days of the Directorate, but have since fallen into disfavor. Lady Gallus claims to have information that would prove extremely damaging to your uncle. The position her family once held in the Directorate's power structure gives her words weight. Her house's downfall gives her motive. Huh. And now the bad news. Lady Gallus has been taken prisoner by the Directorate's occupation force. They have her locked away in her, home ca in her own castle, a gilded cage for imprisoned royalty. We can't reach her again without liberating the system. We'd get her killed if we tried. So there you have it, a path forward. Regrettably, it won't be an easy one, and the Torians will hound you every step of the way, but then you do have a way of defying my expectations. You always have. Best of luck to you, Lady Arano. I wish you success in the battle ahead. Well, there you have it, Lion. We know where we have to go next. Itram, right in the heart of the Directorate. To say that their defenses will be formidable is an understatement, and Ostrogard will go on hounding us every step of the way. Are you sure that your people are ready, or f are ready for this? We're headed for a rough stretch of road. I don't think anyone has any illusions about that, but we can and will handle it. We'll fight and we'll win, just as we always do. Either way, we'll handle it. And if Ostergaard wants a place on my kill list, I'll be happy to accommodate him. I think the first one. We can and will handle it. You're damned right we will, Marcus. And to hell with anyone who stands in our way. Let's get to it, everyone. Back to your stations. We've got a job to do. Alright, so gaining an experience. We're going to need to get them squared away on that end. So we're back to having a nice chunk of money again. Um, and the next upgrade is... Well... It's either going to be Med Bay, which really is very important. The Mech Bay, which is also important. This is not a bad thing to have either. We can't get this until that's done. We can do all of these. We can't do this until we get mid bay three. This is important, but it, it's gonna knock us right back down to broke again. Yeah, guys, um, I, I think I am going to have to have a another contracts-only um, 
time period where I'm just going to be doing a bunch of contracts, and I think once again that's going to be for my Patreon. Um, I just don't want to. I don't want to bog this stream down in a or stream this series down in a bunch of side con uh, side quests. Um, I kind of want to keep it moving. So I maybe if it's if it's like a really good or like a really exciting one, maybe I'll save that for. Uh, I'll set that one aside or something, and I'll and I'll post it on here. But I think after this, we're we're gonna need to do some uh, a, a large number of contracts just to get this stuff up and going. Um, I want to get this. I want to get this up and going, and I want to get our money up and running. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. And if we're gonna do that, I think we're gonna start with the drive system because that'll get us from place to place faster. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. All right, so the bays, we had no damage, right? Yeah, we had no damage here. We've got a bunch of stuff in storage. Uh, we've got a thing already going. Uh, what do we got for contracts in, these, in this area? Uh, so nothing in this area. We would have to go someplace else regardless. So either Mector for a four uh, for a four skull, or Mector for a three uh, three and a half skull. All right. Well, guys, let let me take a look at the store real quick. Wasn't there something I was interested in getting? kind of would like to, oh, you know, oh, that's what I was going to do. That's right. I've got a bunch of lasers that I want to upgrade my grasshopper with. That's right. That's right. All right. So go eh, 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 and get rid of you. Put that in there. Get rid of you. Put that in there. Get rid of you put that in there. Get rid of you. Put that in there. And get rid of you. Put that in there. Nice. Nice. Alright, so we've got the mod going here. Oh, that's another thing. Um, I've got those... Um, I've got this comms equipment. Let's... He's effectively invincible, so... There's no point in put Because uh, he's... he's uh, you know, Lion is protected by plot armor, so we don't have to worry about this so much. Um, let's make him our morale guy. Uh, make the grasshopper the morale guy. Four days. Come on, there right. we go. I'll get it in the schedule. Uh oh, this is the. Uh, you know what? We can. Oh wait, no, no, no. This is uh. Oh, that's right. This is my. Oh no, it's not. This is a base level. Okay. We'll get that stored. Maybe in the future we'll sell it if we. You know what? I've got a bunch of stuff to sell. I could sell a bunch of mechs and probably take care of a lot, uh, a lot of my money problems right now. Because I do have a bunch of mechs, but we'll, we'll kind of deal with that in the future. Uh, quick draw, do we... Uh, Highlander... Highlander, you are our... You are kind of acting as tank right now, so I think cockpit mod would work well for you. Do I have any other, like, better LRM, SRM? I don't think I do. Eh, no worth worrying about. We'll go ahead and fix that. Oh, no. I'll let you know when that's done. 
Uh, catapult, we're not going to worry about you. Uh, let's see, do we... No, actually, you're pretty solid right now, because you're... I don't have anything better than what you've already got. So you're okay. Come on. Get out of it. Thank you. And, yeah, I was going to say, this is just... This is my other LRM finder. He's got the range finder. Which I'm kind of wondering if maybe I need to rethink that. I mean, that extra 50 meters of view distance... I wonder if that's worth it. Or if the morale gain isn't better. Crab, which has the other cockpit mod. And since that's kind of my tank thing, that's actually probably good where it is. Um, comm system, range finder, do I want one? I've got a comms on that. I've got a comms on that. And then there's already a comms on there. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's probably fine. <coughs> yeah. Oh, and that's right, I have a bunch of uh, experience to give to my mech warriors. Okay, so starting with Lion, I've got 8,000. I can top off your tactics with doing one more indirect fire but you're you really don't use indirect fire anymore uh we need to get your gunnery you are all about gunnery right now gunnery and melee so i think you're fine just like Mech that training complete all right and let's start with behemoth receiving you Behemoth, you are my gunnery guts, my stand and deliver girl. Uh, so let's go ahead and do yes. Ooh, that's that 20% max sprint. That's actually not bad. Behemoth is my primary... My my, prim, uh, my my primary Highlander user right now, so that's not such an awful thing either. Let's go with the max sprint. Training confirmed, Commander. Standing by. Decker, you are definitely my dedicated LRM boat. And getting your max sprint up would not be a bad Training idea complete. either. Ah. Achievement unlocked, max, Master Tactician. Oh, I guess we're getting a, a plus, t a, a full 10 on everything. Nice. I hear ya. Yeah, and, and you would, Glitch. Why? Because you are the bomb. I love you to death. All right. Um, well, she is kind of my dedicated LRM girl, but, she, uh, but doesn't necessarily have to be. I kind of have her on a lot of different things right now. Hmm. I think guts and gunnery would probably be the best way to go for you right now. Mech warrior training complete. Because she's she's acting as my as my LRM girl, but she doesn't have to be. Uh, she can just as easily be switched into a sniper role. And that's kind of how I like her. I like her as a running gun sniper. All right, Medusa, you're currently just sort of hanging out. Yes, Commander. Musket, I want you to continue to do your thing over here, okay? <laughs> Waiting for orders. I love him. <laughs> I'm here. All right. Awaiting orders. Waiting on you, Commander. 
Commander? Waiting for orders. Uh, you know what? We've got some... Uh, we're going to put some guts on you because we could use some help Training in there. Training confirmed, Commander. And spare parts. Good to go. Ah, good to go. <laughs> Uh, she doesn't really have to worry overly about heat. Because she's my dedicated LRM, and my LRMs are built so that they're pretty heat efficient. Let's put some gunnery on you. Training complete. Alright. Alright, well guys, that is going to do it for this particular episode. Um, as I mentioned, uh, I'm going to do some Patreon work and do uh, some contract uh, work for the next um, for a few contracts here and do some get some contracts under my belt uh, which means when I get back I will probably have some new mechs and some new upgrades uh, probably have the, the ship upgrades uh, going a lot better yeah, I, I, I just kind of, I want to be able to do a lot of this in the background, just because I don't want this to bog down into, oh, look, Lion's doing another battle. Oh, look, Lion's shooting another convoy. Oh, look, Lion's blowing up another base. I, I don't want it to bog down into that. Uh, we've kind of touched on a little bit of every type of mission that we have in the game, uh, for the most part. Um, if I'm missing one... I can't think of one that I'm missing, um, so I think for the most part we've touched on all that fairly well, um, and so I, at, at this point I think I just want to be able to get some some contract work in on uh, on the side, and so if, if like I said if I come across any that are just like holy cow these guys got to see this, then I'll set that one aside and that one will probably sound a little different because it'll probably me be. It'll probably be in the middle of, like, some other, uh, like, a, a other contract work that I'm doing. It'll probably just be a little... It, it probably won't even have the official hello fellow, you know, fellow members of the Pride opening or anything. It'll probably just be the, the, the fight itself. Um... But yeah, I think for now, we're going to go ahead and end this particular episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. It helps me out so very much. For those of you who are regular viewers of mine, please make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and sharing my videos on your social media. I truly appreciate it when you do. And for those of you who already support me in all the ways that you do, thank you guys so very much. You guys are just... You guys are just really helping me out with this. I am grateful to every single one of you. Uh, and thank you so much for your love and support that you have for my channel. Thank you. And as always, everyone, always remember that anyone can be a mouse that roars, but it takes someone special to be a lion that squeaks. So embrace your inner lion and squeak on! Hmm. What am I going to do for my first contract? Gee, I wonder if I'll go to Mector. <laughs>